Today I want to talk to you guys about the Kengata knife uh, here at Inagi Knife, and this is Knife Talk. The Kengata knife is very similar to the Inagi Ba knife, but the difference really lies in its tip. Along the edge of the Kengata knife, you can see that it kind of, it's pretty straight and then it curves up, and that's really meant for slicing. So the knife shape of the Kengata knife is really great for slicing through uh, soft and delicate ingredients, such as sashimi, and then maybe sushi rolls too, just as long as the sushi rolls don't have anything hard in them uh, because these blades are very hard and so they are prone to chipping. You can see here Akazawa's Kengata knife. This one is crafted out of white steel, number two, and uh, it's a honyaki blade. You can see the tip that I'm referring to right over here, how it's kind of concave downward and then it kind of angles up towards the end and it makes a really sharp point. This knife in particular has two bolsters, two buffalo horn bolsters, and uh, it's an octagonal handle crafted out of ebony wood. In comparison, I also have a Yanagi Ba knife from Yanagi Knife. So as you can see here, uh, the tip, it concaves down as well, except for it's more curved. And then it comes up as well, creating a very similar tip. And that's really the similarity aside from the length of the blade. And then also the way that the edges shaped. So you can see that the Kangata is very similar to the Yanagi Ba knife. Uh, they're both really great sashimi knives. The primary difference in the Kangata knife and the Yanagi Ba knife is the tip. Some chefs prefer a blade that looks more like the Kangata just because they feel that it's cooler and they want that kind of aesthetic look to their knife. Uh, but in general, both of these knives cut very similarly. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Knife Talk. You can check out our Instagram at Yanagi Knife underscore Inc our Facebook at Inagi Knives, or you can visit us at inaginive.com. If you like this video and you want more, please just leave a comment in the comment section below and subscribe. Thank you.